Hello dear soul engineers, I am Abhinav Negi. Welcome you all your own fate form that is resultant. So guys, the ISRO notification for the post of scientist engineer that is level 10 job is now out and unlike others, I will not be only telling you about notification. This is the number of C, this is the number of A's, this is the other, the other, like this. I am telling you the complete detail apart from the notification. I will be telling you the complete detail, the previous year weightage, the previous two year, previous year weightage, everything I'll be telling you with the previous year cutoffs in this video. Okay, might be after seeing this video, everyone will be copying and telling you the weightage analysis and the cutoff, but it's okay. Yeah? Let them help others. It is good for the students. Those who are watching me for the first time, let me introduce myself. My name is Abhinam Negi. I have done my MTech from IIT Delhi. Got All India Rank 164 in 2012. You can join my Telegram group, Civil by Abhinav Sir. Already more than 6,000 students have joined this Telegram group. You can connect us on this mobile number 93549-16360 or you can connect me on the mail Abhinav at the rate resultant.in. In this ISRO course, Along with me, Richa Ma'am and Weber sir will be helping you. So guys, before telling you the weightage of last year and last to last year, before telling you the cutoff, let me briefly tell you the complete, complete ISRO notification. The notification came for the post of scientist engineer for in June, to, for last, uh, last day, okay, 24 June. Okay, there are total 18 seats for civil engineers. And if you have done your BE and BTEC, with 65% marks or CGPA 6.84, then you are eligible for this ISRO test. Let me tell you guys, every year from last couple of times, the notification is coming from ISRO in two parts. One for mechanical electronics and computer science and one for civil engineer with couple of other sub branches. Okay, last time the same thing has happened and this time also when the mechanical electronics notification was out, we were quite sure that it is coming for civil engineer as well. Okay, on 24 June, the notification was out. Up to 14 June, you can fill this form. Okay, and up to 16 July, you can pay the fees. If you are 28 years, then you are eligible for this examination. 28 years or below for uh, general. For SCST, 33 years. And for OBC, it is the 31 years is the age limit. Now, guys, if you want the course from ISRO, from resultant, guys, okay, then you can have it. You can have. Uh, you can ask me your doubt on this phone number nine three five four nine one six three six zero. You can WhatsApp us here, or you can mail at abhinav at the rate result ten dot in. For the first hundred students, I repeat, for first hundred students, the price is only rupees six thousand. Okay. So if you are interested in this course, then our team will be circulating a Google form in various Telegram groups in YouTube community. You can fill that Google form and let us know about your queries and are you interested in course or not guys this is the notification of last to last year that is uh, 2000 last sorry this is a notification for last time notification came in 2023 exam held on january exam was earlier scheduled last time in december 2023 but there was some clash i guess for with hpcl and andhra exam there is a clash so isro has postponed its examination and exam held on 7 january 2024 that time the pattern looks something like this okay total there are total marks is 100 okay this time also and this is the pattern of last year 2023 this time what is the pattern i'm telling you last time 100 uh, marks and total 95 questions okay 80 questions from this part part a of 80 marks and 15 questions from part b that is aptitude part okay so there is no negative marking here there is no negative marking no negative marking and out of 80 questions, which carrying of 80 marks, 60 of civil engineer and 20 of allied area. Allied means the areas which are related to civil, like earthquake, like remote sensing and GPS, like metallurgy, like this. This, this is the notification of last time, but when actually the exam has happened, they have not asked the questions from allied part. Last time, guys, this allied part was included in the notification of civil, in the notification of mechanical, in the notification of electronics, in the notification of computer science. But from mechanical, electronics and computer science, they have updated the notification. But in civil engineering, they have not updated. And till the exam held, the students were thinking that 20 marks or 20 questions will be coming from allied part. But actually, 
from a light part nothing was asked but this time they have clearly mentioned that there is no light part total 100 marks total 100 questions sorry 100 marks and actually the questions are not 100 the questions are 95 questions 80 questions in part a that is civil engineering and 15 questions from part b this is 15 15 questions from part b that is the aptitude part here 80 questions of 80 marks here 15 questions of 20 marks so everything will be civil engineer this time and here part b everything will be logical reasoning there is no negative marking in this there is no negative marking in part b okay so this is the pattern this time now guys first the exam will be held of 100 marks then in 1 is to 5 ratio the students will be called for interview interview again will be of 100 marks okay for one seat five students will be called for interview okay so here the seats are i guess 18 na in civil engineer in civil engineering there are total total 18 seats okay that means 90 students will be called for interview <clears throat> okay so written test will be of 100 marks 100 of written 100 marks written and 100 marks will be interview and total 200 marks the final selection will be decided final selection will be based on both interview and based on the written test okay so for interview for every seat five students will be called now for selection in the written test first you will be selected and written then only you will be going for interview now you should be scoring 50 percent in part a that is 80 questions of civil and 50 percent in part b that is 15 question or you can say 20 marks of aptitude then interview you should be scoring at least 50 marks and out of 200 marks your final selection will be decided okay so you should be scoring 50 percent in part a and part b both for going into the interview otherwise you will not be going into the interview and for the final selection you should be at least scoring 60 percent out of 200 marks if i say 60 percent 120 marks you should be scoring for the final selection of course for to be in the safe range you should be scoring more than 75 percent okay for other categories 40 percent in part a and part b in written test and 40 marks in the interview now guys for interview also guys the complete bifurcation is given that out of 100 marks what is the bifurcation but that we can see some in later stages also let me tell you first it will be written exam then it will be interview and then the final merit will be decided okay in interview for one seat five students will be called okay now this is the weightage analysis that nobody will be telling you this is from last to last time okay last to last time this total if you sum up now this total is actually 80 questions out of 80 questions you can see SOM, RCC, survey, mathematics and building material is on the higher side if I talk about last year for the 2023 notification exam held on 7 January 2024 this total is again 80 questions okay 15 questions are of reasoning this sum up if you add sum up all now it will be 80 questions here for 80 questions it is 80 marks and for 15 questions it is 20 marks for this part b now this aptitude part there is no negative marking in civil engineering part now this includes mathematics includes engineering mathematics okay so if i talk about the last time then guys for soil survey transportation environment building material and engineering mathematics is on the higher side if i talk about the key highlights then a light part was not of 20 marks even you can say it is of zero marks because couple of questions were there but you can relate those questions to civil engineering only so it was not there paper was not very easy like hpcl exam it is not very easy like bhl exam it is not as tough as gate 2 mark paper but you can relate it with gate 1 mark questions okay it is not as difficult as gate 2 mark question but still it is difficult than the hpcl and other psu exams some questions were calculated and expected cut of last year leave now this year you should be scoring more than 75 marks out of 100
to be in the safe range if the paper comes of the previous level only if the paper comes very very easy then for 18 seats might be the cutoff may increase also if i talk about the cutoff guys now guys nobody will be having this data nobody will be having this data now everyone will be copying and telling the students but it's okay yeah? let them help students that is only good for students this is the cutoff see why it is 228 marks na? because sometimes many years before the paper was of 240 marks and out of 240 marks suppose few questions were deleted after the exam because of wrong question framed or some ambiguity in the options so few questions were deleted and out of final 228 marks this is the cutoff for various categories in the year 2017 similarly in the 2019 out of 240 231 marks were decided for final evaluation might be three questions of three marks are not counted for selection because of some wrong question framed or ambiguity in the options so this is the cutoff for various categories okay similarly in 2020 this is the cutoff for various categories now again i am telling you guys if you are interested the in course for isro course okay from resultant then we will be circulating our team will be circulating a google form just after 20 to 25 minutes after this video Please fill that Google form and we'll be very, very happy to take care of your queries and everything. Okay, so if you are interested in the course from resultant, please let us know. For first 100 students, I repeat, this is only for first 100 students. For first 100 students, the price is not 9,000, it is 6,000 and later on the price will be 9,000. So please fill this Google form. We'll be circulating this Google form in YouTube, in Telegram groups and everything. If you have any query, please WhatsApp us. Please WhatsApp us at 93549-16360 or this is 6 guys or you can mail us at abhinav at the rate resultant.in for any query. Okay, please fill this Google form and let us know about any, any query that you have. Our resultant team will be very very happy to take care of your queries. Apart from this, guys, if you want gate course, we have gate one year course for 14,999 and uh, two year courses 26,999. The courses are available in English and Hindi both. And apart from classes and test series, you will be getting all content like notes, PYQs, and the workbook. Okay, so download the app, resultant civil app from the Play Store, and let us know about any query that you have for our ISRO course. Thank you guys. Wish you all the best. Thank you.